In this video, I'm going to create a t-shirt design using products only from Creative Market. Let's go! Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So. A lot of you have been asking me if I use any graphics from any other places online and I usually draw all my stuff, all my designs, about 95, 99% of the time I'm drawing my own designs. But I wanted to look into what you could use if you're not a designer, what kind of clip art places you could go to. I'm gonna show you this website called Creative Market and all the things they have in there. And then I'm gonna pick out a couple of things on there that I'm gonna to use to design a t-shirt. And then I'm gonna show you Affinity Designer, bring it all into Affinity Designer and actually make a design with everything from Creative Market. So you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end so that you can see the final product as well as another edition of Trend Credits. So the first thing we want to do is to go to that Creative Market website. So let's go there now. All right, so here we are on Creative Market, real easy, creativemarket.com. So you can see they have a lot of cool stuff here. So let's just go through the top graphics. So you can see all those illustration objects, patterns, like I talked about textures even. So if you need something like a distressed texture, they have it here web elements if you're the type that are building web pages and then you can also browse by different tools so if you use illustrator or photoshop or any of those kinds of things uh, you can search by that as well they have fonts here you know and it's divided into what types of fonts the categories or the styles so if you're looking for some kind of vintage font they have that here and templates so templates if you're going to build things like this add on so just even more things photos right so you can download photos if you need photos for your for your stuff 3d and get inspired so this one's really cool because you can see there's design trends they they show you what the design what they think the design trends are going to be for 2021 but this is the coolest thing free goods so every week i'm going to click on here so every week they give you some free stuff. So you see free goods of the week. I haven't gotten mine yet, but you can see I can do six free goods here. And they have things like artwork and fonts and brushes and, and cool stuff like that. Absolutely free. You can just download them and use them. So it's really cool. So you're going to want to sign up. You can see I've signed up here. I already have a balance. I've made a purchase and things like that. So let's go back to the home page. I'm going to show you even more things so you can stock up and save credits. So that's what this is saying here. Let's start here. I'm going to go fonts first. So I'm going to show you, I actually bought this font a long time ago, but I bought it from creative market. So, you know, it counts glorious. You might've seen this in one of my other videos, Sunday, glorious Sunday. So here is glorious Sunday. There's two types. There's Glorious Sunday Title and Glorious Sunday Script. You might have seen this in my other videos. And I'm gonna just scroll through so you can see the difference. So you can see the difference. The title is kind of this tall caps. They both look like handwritten, but one looks like a script and the other looks like just capital letters. That's why title. So you can see they work really well together and that's why I bought this. They work really well with my drawings too. So that's why I wanted to get this. Kind of has that handwritten feel uh, where my drawings also look like they're drawn by hand. So I'm gonna use this in my design today. Glorious Sunday, Glorious Sunday script. I'm gonna use both. And I bought the desktop version. Uh, there's other things that you can do if you're doing an app and doing an EPUB. But for us, for the t-shirt, desktop version is what we want. So the next thing, I'm gonna do a St. Patrick's Day design. So I just type in St. Patrick's Day clip art here. And you're gonna see there's tons of clip art, 521 results for St. Patrick's Day clip art. So a ton of it. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I wanna you know, do something. Uh, just to click on here, you can see this one's pretty simple, but I wanna show you the license types they have personal commercial extended license what are these so you can click on here and it will tell you personal like it sounds is for personal use 
that's not us. We're selling t-shirts online. So it would have to be a commercial use or extended commercial use. And it depends how many products you think you're going to sell. If you think you're going to sell only 5,000 products, and that's a lot of products for print on demand, uh, 5,000 sales, it would be really cool to get that. Uh, you get this commercial. I'm going to get just to be safe. I probably won't even get near to 250,000 of these, but I think I might get more than 5,000. I don't know. I don't know. Just to be safe though, I'm going to get an extended commercial license. Either one of these will probably be okay, uh, especially if you don't think you're going to sell over 5,000 because 5,000 is a lot. But just to be safe, I'm getting this one. And it goes to creators, so it's nice to support these creators here. So. That's what I'm going to do. Extended commercial license. I'm not buying this one though. I'm going to buy another one and if I already bought it. So let's go back. And I bought this one. Uh, bundle St. Patrick's Day 250. You can see all of these. They kind of match my style. I have that kind of cartoony style and you can see I already bought it. I bought the extended commercial license and I downloaded it already. So to to make this video but uh, let me show you close up of what it is. So you can scroll down before you buy. You can look at some of these things, patterns and nice art. So be cool on a phone case. We sell phone cases on Merch by Amazon and Redbubble. So you can see here, you can make these letters and all of these things, cupcakes and things like that, patterns. Really cool. I am hoping to make a lot of designs on this one. It's 80% off right now uh, here. And so that's why another reason why I bought it. But St. Patrick's Day is coming up and I'm hoping that I can make my money back by selling a bunch of these, just making a ton of designs because there's so many here that I could probably make, you know, 10, 20, maybe even 50 designs from this. So that's my hope. And then hopefully I'm getting all those sales and making my money back and then some. So that's my plan. Let's get into Affinity Designer. Now that I got my fonts and I got my graphics, let's see how I put them together and come up with the idea that hopefully will be original and sell during St. Patrick. All right, so here we are on Affinity Designer. You can see I've downloaded these. These are EPS files. So what that means is they're vector. So I'm gonna scroll into here or zoom into here. And you can see if I click on here, I can move these around. I can move these around. They're, they're vector files, they're points, right? You can see the points. I could even move this around if I wanted to. So let's do that. And what I'm gonna do here, uh, I could take any one of these and make it a t-shirt. I'm gonna make my own t-shirt with different fonts. So, but you can see here, I could use any of these as well. So really cool. I'm gonna take some of these dots and stuff. I know there's just circles, but you can see these little um, these ideas right here, this clover and some dots here. I'm going to use that as well as this one right here. This is another EPS that I got from the pack that I bought. So I really like this donut and this coffee here. Uh, that speaks to me. So I'm going to put that in my file here and just copy it. So you can see here, I grabbed that and the donut here. And I was thinking of some original thing that I could do that I've never heard of before. So both of these things make me think of breakfast, uh, like a coffee and a donut breakfast. And so when I think of breakfast, I think of breakfast of champions, which kinda is like, sounds like um, in St. Patrick's Day, there's leprechauns. So I was thinking breakfast of leprechauns. I don't know if that's gonna catch on. But it's something cool, I think. So I came up with this breakfast of leprechauns. You can see here, I'm using the donut. I colored it because you can go in here and just color it. You can, it's a vector, right? So I can come in here and change the color as well. So you can see what I did is I changed the color to kind of match the, the cup here. And I also took my font. So you may recognize this font, glorious Sunday title and this font here, Glorious Sunday Script. And like I said in a lot of my videos, your design should be taller than it is wider. It's kind of this tall rectangle like this, right? So you can see that shape 
is the shape I'm going for right here. Breakfast of leprechauns. And I'm using those designs that I showed earlier, those clovers and those dots to kind of fill in that white space. So that's all I did. So I got the coffee cup, kind of changed the color a little bit, got the donut, changed the color a little bit, filled in the white space and added my font with my phrase, breakfast of leprechauns. It's not a trend, it's just something I came up with. You can come up with original ideas that nobody's done and try it out and maybe be the first one on there. Um, hopefully I'm, I'm first on there and maybe make some sales. So here's breakfast of leprechauns. If you wanna do it on a dark shirt and I would suggest that you do your stuff on dark shirts for St. Patrick's Day, dark green, black, whatever it is, dark green will probably sell the best. So I just made my background here with some green, cyan, and yellow. I can you know, make the green a little darker right here, but it also works on black. So you can try it out on different colors. And that's it, I changed the font to white and some of these other things to lighter colors to kind of just fit. So the, the coffee mug, again, because it's vector, I can come in here and, and change the colors to whatever I want, right? So. That is it, so really simple. Now that I have clip art, I can make this over and over. This took me, what, 10 minutes maybe, changing the colors. I already have the artwork, I don't have to draw that. And I, you can see I just laid the text top, bottom, right here to the side. Not very hard. So with that big bundle that I bought, you can see it's just the start. I have a pie, I have this mug, I have this thing. I can use each of these as different t-shirts, putting words on it. And I could use each of these as different t-shirts and there's just a whole pack of other things. So that's what I would suggest. Look for a pack that you can make a ton of designs with because you're paying you know, 30 bucks and you wanna get that money back or whatever you're paying for. And so that means you're gonna have to sell 10, 15 shirts depending on what your markup is to make that money back. So you wanna put as many of those hooks in the water as you can. So that is it. Breakfast of Leprechauns, that's what I'm going to post on, on my pod shops, as well as a bunch of other ones for St. Patrick's Day. It's early enough that I can get some of those sales early before St. Patrick's Day. Let me know if this was helpful for you. You can see I've used everything from Creative Market, the fonts and the designs, and they have it all there. So let me know in the comments if you've ever used Creative Market or if there's something that you would like me to try out any other design places like Creative Market. I've, I've done Place It, Creative Market. If there's other places that you want me to try out and see if there's some good clip art and fonts on there, let me know in the comments and I'll try them out for you and see how they work. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for staying till the end and your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying all the way to the end for this trend credit. Here is your trend, the first but not the last. This is referring to Kamala Harris, of course, the inauguration. Uh, you can see here BSR is super low, super low. Uh, of course, this is a big day in history and many people wanna buy these kinds of shirts. Let's check Merch Informer, the competition checker. It's getting an A, don't forget I have a Link in the description for Merch Informer if you don't have it, but an A is great score, so you know it's good. You can see some other ones here. Selling 189 sales, wow. 33, 24 sales, that's, that's crazy, in a month. That's that's what they do in a month for these, so really high sales for those. Um, I wanted to talk about something else. I know I tell you to go after trends, go after trends, but be very careful about inauguration trends. I know people are buying those things, but careful about trademarks and stuff. Uh, you shouldn't be able to just take a photo off their internet and post it on a t-shirt and sell it. Be careful about using chucks and pearls. Those are converse. Uh, you know, getting a poem that was said at the inauguration um, from Amanda Gorman, you can't just take their poem her poem and just put it on a t-shirt and sell it. That's something she wrote. It's not like something that you have uh, permission to put on a t-shirt. So be very careful with, with some of these things uh, when you're doing, I know people are getting really low BSRs and getting a lot of sales, 
but uh, a lot of copyright infringement going on here. So uh, just be very careful. You don't want to lose your account when doing these. Uh, I know it's very tempting to just go after it and, and try and make some money, but you got to be smart about this and not lose your account. So the first but not the last, that is your trend for this video. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Like this video, give it a thumbs up if it gave you some value. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.